You're looking at the bane of my mornings. I have hated this slab of pavement since I've moved in. Not only does it have a copious amount of cracks, the end that connects to the sidewalk is misaligned and you don't even have to look closely to see I have made a mess of things attempting to smooth it out. I also discovered from a neighbor that it was hastily and unprofessionally installed by a non-specialist not observing the structural protocol with no rebar reinforcement underneath. I know I just called that front slab the bane of my existence, but I take that back. The front is an eyesore. This is the bane. The discolored lines you see are my pathetic layperson attempts at repairing dangerous cracks. I can't tell you how many hours had been wasted at that unfruitful endeavor. As you saw, I got my fence replaced and I just restored my patio cover. So this gross incongruity of a patio floor was bugging me to no ends. It just didn't fit and I had to get it replaced professionally. I wasn't going to make the same mistake as the previous owner. I got five different quotes and they ranged from 4k to 6k dollars. I went with A&P for 4.5k dollars, labor and material, because Alejandro is a local guy, one, and he was knowledgeable and communi communicable, two, and he offered the highest PSI concrete of all the quotes, three. They start off by demolishing the existing slab with a combination of digging bars and sledgehammers. Here Fernando is putting his whole weight into prying up a stubborn section. When I mentioned sledgehammer earlier, here is an example of what I meant. This is some seriously hard resistance Fernando is up against. He is going 110% with that tool. This is not a line of work for the weak. This is purely conjecture, but I think they noticed the patio cover is too short, curtailing their sledgehammer backswings. If you noticed with a sledgehammer, without momentum it is rendered ineffective. I introduce you to the heavy machinery. However, don't misjudge the energy and effort required just because a power equipment is assisting in the work. This is hard work that caused dripping sweat to run down their faces. These heroes, in my opinion, belong right up there with the doctors and nurses in our pantheon of respected professionals. I sped up this next part in the interest of time. They are just using a prying bar to unhinge the concrete pieces from the ground. So it's a monotonous combination of breaking the concrete up into manageable sizes with a jackhammer, then prying up the pieces and separating them. Then finally, you're going to see later, they load them up in a wheelbarrow and wheel them to the front of the house where it's convenient for a power loader to scoop them up. Here's the wheelbarrow I was talking about earlier. It's just your standard home center wheelbarrow, but it makes not quick, but relatively quick work of transporting the heavy chunks of rock out of here. Try doing all that without one. That's why I would like to take this moment to recognize the awesome invention that is the wheelbarrow. After all that old concrete is removed, they rake, tamp, and level the ground in preparation for the next step, which would be installing the 2x4 forms and rebar grids. You wouldn't think there was this much material from watching them do their demo in the backyard, but this small mountain of rubble is about the size of a Sumatran rhinoceros, not an insignificant amount. I couldn't begin to express to you the delight when I woke up that morning and found this rare beast operating in the front yard, I've always wanted to see one up close and running. It's almost as if you're a fan of an endangered tiger in the wild and you finally get to see one up close for the first time. I was a kid in a proverbial candy store. If you pay close attention, you will see the Bobcat Loader has a bucket attachment for loading material in, lifting it up, and then dumping into the back of that dump truck. Also notice the front wheels do not turn left or right per se. Instead, they do something known as a tank turn where when the wheel, when the right side and left side wheels rotate opposite of each other, that causes the bobcat to turn 
and a rotate. This is how it changes direction. The only thing that could make this machine better is if they convert it to electric drive. They're already doing it with cars, pickup trucks, and lawn care equipment such as lawnmowers and blowers. They can easily do this with small loaders. But yeah, enjoy the rest of this amazing feline in action in its natural habitat. About an hour after the rubble loading and hallway was done, Fernando came to set up the 2x4 forms. This is how when they pour the concrete, it doesn't flow into the grass. Father and son teamed up to assemble the rebars together. They are 3 8 of an inch diameter and spaced about 2 feet apart, which is pretty standard in the industry. I asked if there would be any benefit to concentrating the rebar rods closer together. The answer was an emphatic no. The 2 feet spacing is optimal already. When you get this close to a concrete truck, the first thing you are impressed by is how big it is. Then you notice how loud it is. The noise is not all the truck though, it's mostly the concrete pump. The pump is that trailer behind the pickup truck. The concrete truck is unloading its precious cargo into it. After liquidy concrete enters the pump, strong pressure forces it through a black hose to the back of the house. This is the magical moment you've been waiting for. Liquid concrete flows out at the quick rate of a gallon per second. They lift the rebar grid about 2 inches off the ground as the pour fills in, so it's positioned height-wise in the middle of the concrete. The finisher with a cowboy hat on is Ivan. He screeds with a 2x4 as concrete fills to the desired level so concrete doesn't overflow and make a mess. There's no other way to do this but just hard labor bent over. He's wearing special concrete boots that are lightweight and waterproof. These guys are professionals, no frills, no fancy clothes, no support dogs. They come focus on the job and they do, they do it better than anyone else out there. That's Ivan working the bull float. The bull float's function is to flatten and smooth out the rough surface of wet concrete. Every section gets at least two passes for uniformity. This is the part that makes or breaks the final product. If they rush and do a haphazard job, then you can see it in the final result. But if, it, if they do this right, it becomes a work of art. Here Ivan bull floats the lengthwise direction. That's a 25, a mad 25 footer he is wielding. Have you ever seen a man handle a longer rod in your life? If you have ever wondered how expansion joints are made, well wonder no more. Using a joint cutter attachment to a long handle, Ivan precisely cuts a straight ass line in the slab like a hot knife on butter. The reason expansion joints are crucial is because concrete needs that gap to expand and contract to minimize cracking. Here Ivan is smoothing over the expansion joint cuts with a mini float. I know I made it sound like there is only one line earlier, but he actually cuts four individual lines. The final step in the concrete installation process is a combination of troweling on knee boards and brush finishing. Ivan has a trowel duty and he meticulously goes over every square centimeter like his life depends on it. And Fernando does the broom brush over in the chillest way. This is what I call excellent teamwork. Here Ivan is troweling the front slab, more precisely he is rounding over the back edge. I want to include this 25 second clip at 1x speed to emphasize how time consuming and methodical this step is. You have to appreciate the patience, dedication and professionalism here. Look at what I have created or what I paid A&P to create for me. I wish I could say I installed a driveway section this beautiful myself. Maybe one day I will have the skill and patience to do it. I couldn't be more delighted with how this turned out. The transition from the sidewalk to the driveway is much more seamless and no more unsightly cracks and unevenness. I am filming this video 15 days after it was poured, so it is almost fully cured. Well technically it never ever fully cures. As water interacts with it, the curing continues indefinitely. You're looking at the crown jewel of the property right now. It's incredible how refreshing and wonderful a new patio floor not only looks, but smells and feels. 
It is one of a few scents that I could go weeks sniffing and not get tired of. And the feel is so solid and stable. The former slab was literally creaking and shifting as I walked over it. And I'm not that heavy. The broom finish is just a cherry on top. I didn't know what I was missing out on before I got a broom finish. Now, I can't imagine life without that grippy pattern. I used to slip and slide especially with low friction flip flops on. Now I can wear whatever footwear and my traction is like a jungle cat on the back of a wild boar. If I have one minor complaint, it's this. They sealed the concrete top surface with a leaf beneath it. It was a rather windy day, so I'm not 100% surprised that one leaf got embedded in there. The impression was about the size of a AA battery. At first, I hated it. It was like a stain on an otherwise perfectly dry clean suit. I inquired about the feasibility of a repair, but Alejandro advised against it because the fix would be more conspicuous. However, as the hours passed, the leaf imprint grew on me, and I view it as a unique characteristic of the artwork. Alright, so my name is Alejandro Nava. Thanks for watching my work. Um, I'm with AMP Working Remodel. Any job you need, give me a call right here. The yeah, demolition, landscaping, demolition, construction. landscaping, patios, you want to do some tiles, small addition in your backyard, you name it, give me a call. Roofing. Roofing yeah, as well, yeah. Pretty much any aspect anything of the house. Anything you need, yep. Anything small or big, we'll come and help you guys and, out. And provide your phone number. My phone number is 619-362-0321. Perfect. Thank you. All right.